umpires and crew, you said, uh, oh, we can keep playing here? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's part of baseball. It, that reminds me of, honestly, the game last year at UT Rio Grande Valley when you couldn't see 10 feet in front of your face, but I thought everybody could see. And uh, I felt good, but just with the long delay, we just thought it'd be better just to mm -hmm. cut it short. When was that decision made, like how quickly to resuming play? Right. Uh, pretty late, I would say. I was out here playing catch, yeah, started good. feeling good, and then just kind of that natural, normal soreness kind of started to set in. He was like, if you're not 100%, there's even a 1% chance you don't feel it. And I was like, well, I'd rather turn it over to leave out than not be my best self. So. How, how many more do you think you could have gone? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> when you were beating your cleats off out here, I assume that was when the decision was made. Yeah. <laughs> I, he came out there and talked to me, and then it was just like, look, he was like, we got Lee Bell, he's going to do a good job. And I was like, you're right, let's just call it. What did you see out of him when you were in the dugout? I mean, four innings, that's the longest he's gone all just year. Just really, really efficient. And just pitching in contact, got us a good double play ball. And then, was it two? One? One or two double play? I can't remember. But. Just you see the ground ball outs he gets, and it just helps the team get us back in the dugout, and just really we feed off of that. So, I'm I'm about about your night, today. How, how you felt you were throwing those first five innings? I felt pretty good early on. I was, which is going to sound weird, I was in the bottom of the zone, and I didn't really like that. So I kind of started elevating a little bit more, and that's when the punch out started happening. So that was just a reaction kind of thing. I don't think I had my best stuff tonight, but uh, kind of just worked with what you have when you got there. How important is it to get the first win in the series? It's huge. Uh, really big, especially to throw a shutout against a really potent offense. I mean, those guys can really swing it. And um, it's good morale. I mean, just going to really, hopefully, that leads in tomorrow, too. So. How, how do you try to manage your pitch count when you're racking up strikeouts and working high in the How do you kind of play off of those two things? So there's a lot of things that go into that. Uh, <laughs> One of the big things, like example, like uh, I think Keenan came up and there's a base open, Good job, and obviously oh I know he can hit the ball on the moon, so I don't want to pitch him if I have to. So that that walk was really just trying to pitch around him. So that factors into the pitch count a little bit, just trying to be strategic about who you want to face in an order. So that's always in my head, but really it's just trying to pound the fastball in zone. When when you think that way, is that a credit to the fact they trust you to do things like that? They say right. no, you got to get every out, but they trust you to give away guys if you think you get a better matchup coming. Right, I think so. I think uh, me and Fox, we've talked about it a little bit more recently, especially like I said, their lineup they've been making really swing it, and uh, you know you don't have to face the big, the big two and thirty pound guy if you don't have to with the base open and just pitch the next guy and get him out that way. So. Well, normally when you come out, it, it means that, you know, probably two to three guys are going to be coming in after you. Tonight it was the same guy every right. time. When Jared comes back to the dugout, what are, you, what are you guys talking about? Do you talk to him or what do you guys say? I just left him alone. To be honest, I think it's probably the best thing because he was cruising. And uh, just really big to only use two arms in this opening, series, this opening game this series. In that van when you get rolling, were guys leaving you alone or are you talking to people? Yeah. <laughs> I've never been the guy who just won't talk to people. I mean, I, I'm in my own zone in my head, but I can have a good time in there too. So. When you got that fastball elevated, I mean, is that when things started to click a little bit? Better? I think so. I think so. Of course, uh, I think Dillard had the base hit up the middle on a, like a low fastball, and I was like, well, how do you hit it? And of course, he's a good hitter. But And I was like, well, i got to start trying to throw this. And the, the, real, the really big thing is kind of when I got on the mound, like I looked like I felt like I was a little bit further away than normal, like at home or like, you know, in the bullpen or something. So I was starting to miss a little lower than I wanted to, and then just really going up was kind of my game plan after that. It's a general gist. I mean, when you do get rolling, whether it's tonight or other games, do you feel like it's when that fastball gets up a little bit? Yeah, I mean, to me, it, it might not look like it's on video, but to me it's just coming out of my hand, and it just feels like it's just kind of doing that a little bit, just really going a couple inches above the barrel.